Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, maybe I should do these before I go for a run. I just finished a seven mile run after playing softball today. Uh, eh, lost in softball, so it was sad. But it is the end of the softball season, lost in the playoffs, so, uh, so now I could. One more, I suppose. So we'll see how that goes. Today we have thirteen ninety five count number of teams. The end soldiers of a line. Each soldier assigned a unique rating value. You have to form a team of three soldiers with the following rules: I J K rating da da da. The team is valid if I is less than J I, uh, less than K or I is greater than J is greater than K. Return the number of teams you can form given the the condition. Okay. I mean, with these problems, uh. I mean, I don't, I don't know that it, you know. There's a oh, well, n is a thousand is interesting for sure, um, but we can think about it anyway. Um, so I mean, there are a couple of ways you can think about of these problems, right? And the first way, of course, is that if you do a for i for j for k loop, that's easy. That's n cube. But of course, this is too slow for n as you go to a thousand. Uh, then the, the next thing you can do is just you know fix two numbers i and j, or j and k doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, or I guess I and K, um, and then count the, the the other one, right? And this kind of um, yeah, I mean you could do it that way as well, right? Like the the nothing, whichever two you choose, it should be okay. Um, yeah, it, it's just about counting. So yeah, um, I think there should be an O of N or O of N log N maybe. Um, as well, it's just that you take one of the index uh, and then see if you can do math on the other one, right? For example, if you brute force on J, then now you can see any, how many numbers to the left are smaller than than um, rating sub J and the number of numbers to the right that are greater than K, right? And so forth. So something like that. Yeah. It's a very weird thing, but okay. So yeah, then I think that that's kind of the idea, and we could kind of build off that, right? So maybe we can just say, um, yeah, uh, let's just say we have a smaller array, right? So th this will give us the number of things that are smaller to the left, and then here we can have a sorted list or a set or something like this. So here from sorted containers, um, yeah. You probably, I mean, you could actually do this in n square, and it'll, 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 it's probably a lot easier. But I'm gonna try to see if I could do it with n, n log n, right? And then here is just smaller to the left, right? And yeah, um, yeah. And then now you have four x in waiting, right? So we have. Oh, and just uh, hmm, scene maybe. Let's go, you go to sorted list. Um, so then we, we want to see how many numbers are smaller than x to the left. So it's just scene that bisect left of uh, x. Um, oh, they're all unique. I was going to have to think about whether what equal means, but I guess it doesn't matter. So, well, now it doesn't matter. So left, right? So that means that x is the, I mean, bisect left gives you the index in which x will be inserted, which means that it is the number of numbers that are smaller than it, right? So that means smaller that append this and then seen that add x, right? So that will, so this will give you, uh, you know, and you could kind of run these things to kind of just make sure that, you know, prove to yourself and stuff. So here we have zero number left. Five has one number to the left, that's smaller. Three has one number to the left, four has two, and one has zero, right? So that thing looks good. Um, you could, I guess in theory, also get a bigger thing, but but it doesn't matter in the sense that, you know, you know what n is, or I guess in this case, you know how many numbers are to the left of you, so the number of numbers that are bigger is just whatever times it, right? So then now we have smaller to the right, maybe. So now... Ooh. Right, so maybe we do smaller to the right. Um, and here, yeah, we're going to do smaller to the right, then we can actually just abstract this to a function, right? So maybe you can have something like gets 
smaller or something like this um, and then ratings maybe something like that and then we can just return smaller and then now we have smaller left is equal to get smaller rating uh, smaller to the right is equal to get smaller um, with this but revert it and but then this also gets reverted so then now we have this thing right so of course always double check uh, unless you're very confident i mean i'm probably confident but i just want to show you how you know and then now you can confirm that going backwards uh four has one number to the right three has one number to the right and so forth and then that's basically all you need right so then now we have total as the total count i i just call it total you should you should call it total or count i don't know and then now we have for j in range of n and for j i just kind of wanted to keep this consistent with this thing right so then now what happens we want to count uh, number of things smaller to the left right so we have smaller um, sub j right it's gonna be left left smaller is equal to this and then right bigger or larger yeah whatever right bigger is gonna be equal to uh, oh this is smaller left uh, smaller to the right of j um, except for um, that's the number that are smaller so the number bigger is just going to be the total numbers of numbers to the right which is n minus j right uh, minus 1 right so that's the number of numbers that are to the right and you could kind of just if, if, you, if you kind of worry about off by ones in these the thing that I do is just I, I substitute a number in my head so for example if j is 0 then we know that we have n minus one numbers to the right right because you don't count itself so then here um yeah so that's the total numbers to the right and these are the smaller numbers um and you know just make sure you don't count yourself and so then now we have total we added by left smaller times right bigger right because you can choose any of the numbers on the left that are smaller and any of the numbers on the right that are bigger and that'll make one team right um which i misunderstood this problem and then it's just weird but yeah, but here, uh, so then now, uh, so that gives us this valid thing. Um, and then we can also just do this thing, right? Um, so then you could either, so there are two ways to do it. One is, yeah, one way to do it is just write the other thing, right? So maybe you could do uh, write smaller is you go to that, 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 that. Or the other way to do it is just, um, you know, you could dry yourself and, and basically um, notice that if you invert the, the, the entire array, then that will give you the answer, right? So maybe you can do something like, um, yeah, um, maybe you could do something like, I mean, in theory, if you really want to, you can write something like get total or something like get total, right? A uh, rating, and then you just do, and then you have this. Right, and, and this is how you would abstract it. So you have this, and then now you can return get total rating um, plus get total rating also inverted. The reason why this works is that now if it's backwards then now you get the other one right so you could definitely do that um hopefully this is right otherwise which is embarrassing let me we'll give it a quick submit and it looks good right so this is n log n very fast um the reason why i kind of hesitated is because you you definitely notice that you you reuse some of this work right uh this one gets used between the two get totals so there are a couple of things you can maybe do here um because you, and the way to notice is that if this is inverted, then it's just these two things inverted, right? Um, so then, so maybe instead of just um, instead of doing this way, you could uh, write it like this. But um, yeah, you could write maybe get total as here, uh, smaller left, smaller right, right, something like this, uh, and then.
right so then now now you can just do smaller left smaller right plus get total smaller right uh, smaller left right Huh, maybe I did this wrong. Uh, hmm. Am I confused? Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong on this. I mean, if something's like this, but I, I clearly I, I uh, am not doing it quite right. Hmm. How is this off by so much? Two, one, three. I mean, the second one should not give me a two. Why does this give me a two? Hmm. That is weird. Huh. There is something like this, but I don't know what I'm doing well. So then, okay. So it's more, it's more to the left, it's more to the right. Oh, uh, maybe I, uh, I think maybe I just, maybe I need to do it this way. Maybe th th it's not the same because of the way the indexing works. Huh. Hmm. Oh no. That is weird. Man, in my head it looked good. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think it's something like it's weird and subtle like this, but I don't know. I'm doing well. Okay, so right, okay. But then if you invert the rating matrix, well, I mean it's in a way not matrix, but if you inverted this, then just smaller left becomes smaller right, right? But uh, I guess I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's something like this, but you have to also invert this. Uh, that's a that's a tough transformation, or like very subtle transformation that easy to mess up. But yeah, it should be, it is slightly faster because we're not doing this thing two more times, right? So that's basically the idea. But huh, I mean, as you can see, it definitely takes a couple of minutes for, for to be sloppy, so that um, or I'm just sloppy, and you could see that it it improves the inversion. By the way, I mean it. it it doesn't change the overall complexity because it just caused this two more times and this is just n log n right this o of n here um log n here log n here so this is n log n and we just do two more n log n so it's still gonna be n log n either way this is obviously linear so yeah in total this is gonna be n log n so it doesn't change the complexity but it does make it a little bit i don't know it is an optimization right and these are things that i just want to show you so that, you know, maybe it comes in handy in some day, maybe not today. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Um, I, the last time I did this, I guess maybe I did the N-square way because... Um, hmm. Did it the N-cube way? N-cube is fast enough? Wasn't N-cube... Did it used to be smaller? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess now... Uh, I mean, this is technically N choose 3. But I don't know how this is fast enough, to be honest. Huh. Was this used, did this used to be easy or did they change it or something? I don't know. Uh, maybe I have to find my old video. I don't know how this could even be remote. Well, I mean, I guess the timing is actually pretty slow, so I can see it. But yeah, you can definitely still use N square anyway, right? So I don't know. There are a couple of ways you could do it with N square. Um, hmm. In any case, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. N log n time, O of n space. I don't think I talked about space, but you can see that it's O of n way easily, I hope. Um, yeah, have a great beginning of the week, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.